Hey, what's going on guys? It's Like a Hero and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. This is not going to be like a specific build video, but rather general things that you should be looking for if you want to use ARs in the Division 2 post title update 10. Now, I thought about doing this because uh, one of the questions that gets brought up a lot is what build are you using? Are ARs good? Did they buff this weapon or this weapon? And I, I'm going to say that ARs are in a better spot that they weren't before Title Update 10. And one of the things that I've kind of been noticing as I'm playing is that there isn't a huge difference in builds. Like as far as build diversity goes, there there's like one or two things that you can switch out between builds. Uh, but generally, you're going to want to be going for particular chest talents. And then the rest uh, involves changing maybe your gloves, changing your mask and that's pretty much it so i'm going to kind of put a video that kind of gives general idea of what you can expect to be looking for to optimize your builds or just to get started right and then afterwards you can tailor a specific build depending on the mission that you're running or your group composition now you may wonder well are ars performing at the top level of like let's say uh, m1a's and i i still think that m1a's are going to be the go-to uh, for the upcoming raid I think that they just provide a lot of safety when you're fighting or engagements are so far away. And I, but, but I do think that having a decent AR build is, uh, goes a long way. So to start off, I want to talk about the top ARs that you should be looking for. And just kind of to preface it all, um, no matter the, the build, no matter like the pieces that you have on or the weapon that you're using here. Uh, if you're doing damage, you're going to want to make sure that you're at the 60% crit chance cap. Okay, you're there. And after that, then you're going to be wanting to dump everything else into crit damage. Consider that when you're modding your, your FAMAS, your police and for whatever it is, consider that first. Get to that 60% crit chance and then go from there and build into crit damage. Okay, just wanted to start be start start that off by saying that. One of those is the FAMAS. I think the FAMAS is the number one AR in the game right now. It's just super powerful, has high RPM. And the talents that you should be looking for on that FAMAS is going to be Fast Hand. Fast Hands uh, gives you bonus reload speed up to 40% for critical hits that you land on a target. So it's a really good one because it's gonna let you stay in that fight. It's gonna help you with your sustained damage. You could possibly use something like Strained as well on the FAMAS. I just feel that with the high RPM, you're you're not really getting the full constant bonus of the strain talent which is your crit hit damage bonus because you're shooting so fast so i feel like strain is for a slower rpm weapon but it is an option to use if you don't get the fast hands so those are the talents that you should be looking for as far as the attribute the third attribute that you should be looking for on a ar in general is going to be either damage to armor or damage to target out of cover Rate of Fire is the, uh, the other one that you could use, you know, depending on your RNG and how it works. Rate of Fire is not terrible, but I would say definitely damage to armor or damage to target out of cover because that's just, uh, and preferably, I, I prefer damage to target out of cover. If, I, if I'm able to choose that, right, that's what I would go because um, NPCs are always out of cover for the most part. And uh, when you go with damage to armor, you might run into a certain part of the mission or certain NPCs where there's not a lot of armored units. So you're kind of just lo losing out on potential damage there. When it comes to other weapons that are that are good weapons to look for as far as ARs, I recommend the Police M4. This one that I'm showing you right here, I have Assault Rifle Damage, Health Damage, Stability, and Strained. It is a little slower RPM, so Strained is a little bit better on this. Uh, and then again, I'm going to roll that at that attribute of stability to a damage target out of cover. So when it comes to ARs, FAMAS and Police and 4 are your top choices. And another decent choice, another great, a good choice is going to be the Chameleon. Now the Chameleon is an exotic AR. Its base damage has been raised since title update 10, so it's, a, it's much better than it used to be. Again, it rolls with Assault Rifle Damage, Health Damage, and Crit Chance here. Now the talents on the Chameleon are, you get three buffs depending on where you're hitting the NPC. Headshots, 30 of them, will give you 20% crit hit chance and 50% crit hit damage for four seconds. Uh, 45 seconds. Hitting 75 body shots is gonna grant you 90% weapon damage for 45 seconds. And finally, hitting 30 leg shots grants you 150% reload speed for four seconds. And again, the, the big thing about this is that 
when you are out of combat, your buffs will refresh. So that means if you drop out of combat with these buffs active, they actually get refreshed and you get another 45 seconds for each one. Another option would be the exotic AR, the Eagle Bearer. And that's because even though it is not as great as it used to be, it is still has a high base damage, much higher than the other ones. So that is another option as well. Finally, the last one to round it out is the Burnout, which is another FAMAS. It's, very, it's the FAMAS, but it's just a named FAMAS. Again, I have Assault Rifle, Health Damage, and Damage Target out of cover here. The talent on the Burnout is perfectly on empty. So it's similar to Fast Hands in a sense that you're going to get more reload speed. However, when you reload from empty, you're not only getting the reload speed, but you're getting the accuracy and the stability. You're getting the weapon handling. And since the increase to weapon handling, this is a very, it's a good option. Now, I will say that the only thing that you have to be aware of here is you're going to have to mag dump. Okay, if you reload, you're not going to get the benefits of perfectly on empty. Okay, you got to be on empty. So that would be the thing to be aware of when you're going in. It does last for 10 seconds. Now that we've gone over the weapons and the talents that you should be looking for when you're going ARs, is now I'm going to talk about the builds that I use. So the build that I use in the beginning of this video is very similar to the build that I'm using right now in this current gameplay right here going on. They both have identical builds. The only thing that I'm changing for the most part is going to be the chest talent. So keep that in mind as you are looking towards building an AR. You're going to want to start with a general layout, a general template. And then depending on the situations, you're either going to switch one or two items out to fit whatever build that you, whatever uh, build, I say that loosely, whatever you want to your play style to be. If you're going to be using a focus build like this where you're scoped in, then you're changing your chest piece to have an Araldi, ideally an Araldi, which is your perfect focus so for my focus build i have a the chest piece that is one piece of reality for the perfect focus i'm using the famas with burnout now when you're using a focus build you need to make sure that your scope that you have attached is is at least eight times or greater now if you choose to go sharpshooter to get the digital scope for 45 percent headshot then that's what you do i prefer to go with the gunner specialization so i'm sticking to the the regular non-specialized uh, C uh, QB SS scope, which is eight times. One thing to note too, as well, is you're going to see that this build has a lot of reds on it. If you're trying to optimize your damage, you're going to want to go as many reds as you can. You're going to want to go crit damage, crit chance, weapon damage. Okay, you're going to th th that's what you're going to want to do with the occasional like named um, named. Uh, brand piece so like fox prayers for example or contractors gloves so here you're going to see my focus build is providence pieces we have the grupo somber pieces we have fox prayers on the knees and your gloves can change or not just your gloves but in my situation i'm switching be between using contractors gloves and using the fenris or the the brand set the fenris one piece gloves now the pristine example which is the named chest piece the reason i'm going eraldi even though it does give me marksman rifle damage and i'm using an ar is because of the increased damage from the perfect focus so when i aim down the sights with an eight times or higher scope i get a total what total damage increase of weapon damage increase of 60 percent so it's much higher than the regular focus which you could do if that's what you're going for if you want to go up a uh, chest that's providence and put focus on it you can i'm just telling you that the to go optimal and to do more damage you're going to want that pristine example because it's just flat out more damage now as far as the mask goes i have a group of sombra mask here again you could swap that out with the hollow man mask with the coyote exotic mask on my gloves i go in between switching from contractor's gloves for the damage to armor and from fenris now if i'm playing solo most of the time would be rocking the fenris mask uh, just because there's situations where there's not a whole lot of armor right and so fenris i get that bonus more consistently the 10 percent assault rifle damage when it comes to knees i think you have your options are even less limited because you're going to want to go fox bear even if you're not using a rifle because the eight percent damage target out of cover is just so good now when i don't feel like being scoped in all the time or i just want to play a little differently i do switch my chest talent to perfect glass cannon which is the sacrifice named providence piece 
Again, the build itself generally isn't changing that much. I have vigilance on my backpack still. I'm just changing the chest piece to perfect glass cannon. You can use the regular glass cannon. You're going to do less damage and you're going to also take less damage. So it's that that choice is up to you. But I do like the sacrifice. And I'll talk a little bit more about why I run glass cannon and why I think it's okay to run. So with perfect glass cannon, you're doing 30% more amplified damage, but you're also taking 60%. So that is a little bit better than the non named chest. I do think the chameleon paired with the glass cannon does make the chameleon a viable option here. As far as your damage output hitting over a million when you got all the buffs active just make sure that you're getting those buffs activated while you're fighting because if you're only going for body shots or you're only hitting leg shots because then maybe your aim is not that great then you're not really getting the full benefit of the community make sure you do that the final talent that you should be going for for ars is the chess piece talent that is spotter again if you're looking at this build it's very similar to my other builds builds like i said earlier one or two pieces is what kind of is the meta right now for changing builds, especially if you're only doing damage. So you're going to want to go with the spotter talent. That spotter talent amplifies your total weapon damage and skill damage by 15% to pulse enemies. So you could run like a uh, pulse as a skill, which if I guess that is, a, that is a viable option. But there's so much synergy with going the technician specialization tree and unlocking the weapon mod. Again, you could switch to Coyote Mask here for your mask. You could switch to Contractor's Gloves. You could even go with the Hollow Man Mask if you like. But the synergy is going to come from making sure that you run the Technician uh, Weapon Mod attachment that pulses the enemies for you. What's that? Wh what that does, it's going to free up a skill for you. So instead of going like the shield, which I think everyone should be running a shield at all times, no matter your build, if you can run a shield, run it. But it does free up that other slot so that you can have a revive hive out or a fixer drone if you want. But so that's what I would do for that. So there you go. General guidelines, the top ARs, the top talents that you should be looking for. Uh, it's really only the chest piece, right? Vigilance is such a good talent that if you're rocking an AR and a shield, you should always have it on because Vigilance is going to have easy uptime, easy damage. Uh, my favorite personally, if I had to choose one right now, is probably the Focus AR. And with that, um, with that, you're going to be getting the increased damage from Perfect Focus. But also with the shield, it just synergizes as well. It's probably my favorite one to use right now. Another option for AR, is probably my second, is probably using the Chameleon because it's cool. Why not, you know? But um, it kind of one of my issues with the game right now is that damage damage builds just don't have a lot of lot of diversity right now. Like I said, a couple of changes here and like you saw, and and again, this is just a simple layout of what you can start with. This is not show you everything that you can do. You can tweak these builds to kind of match what you're doing, the mission that you're doing. Right? Maybe go contractors. Maybe go coyote mask. But generally, you're going to be wanting going wanting to go like Grupo Sombra um, for the One Piece, Providence, and that's pretty much where it stands for ARs right now. I am enjoying the update, title title update ten, because I'm using ARs more often. I don't really see myself making another build video in the current meta right now. Even if I were to look into using an M1A, my build's not going to change that much. I'm going to keep everything the same except i might switch to a my my gloves right i don't need fenris gloves if i'm using an m1a so i would switch that right but fox prayer is going to stay group of sombra is going to stay my providence is going to stay i'm probably just going to go back to focus talent and just switch your weapon out so i i, I think this is going to be a general build and i don't think i'm going to make currently anymore until something changes drastically i will say though if you're going with m1a's i think headhunter is a great choice as long as you're able to hit headshots because uh, helmets and stuff like that will kind of interrupt your flow of things again. Uh, but I will say that there's uh, headhunter would be the one talent that I would add to my things to look for if you if, if M1As are your thing. Otherwise, focus is a great one, right? Perfect focus, Aroldi. And um, obviously, the glass cannon is also an option there. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We're at over 1,500 subs. 
And if you have any questions, anything like that, please post them in the comment. I will post them up. Also, I'm streaming nightly, almost nightly I, these days with Tide Up to 10 and the rate approaching. So make sure to check me out over on Twitch TV slash like a hero as well as subbing on here. You can also drop a follow on Twitch and be notified the next time I go live. Thank you guys so much and I will check you guys out later.